If you're not feeling 100% these days, how do you know if you've got allergies, the flu, or COVID-19? ABC's Deborah Roberts has the answers. <laughs> For so many these days, an ordinary sneeze or cough sets off alarm bells. Could it be COVID-19? <coughs> but remember, in the midst of this global pandemic, it's also allergy season. Experts say between 20 and 40 million Americans suffer from allergies every year, and the season could go through June. This map highlighting the parts of the country that are most challenging places to live with allergies. But there are distinct differences between COVID-19 and basic allergies. About 90% of patients with COVID-19 will present with a fever. Um, the other main differentiating factor is sneezing. Sneezing is very common in allergies. It has not been reported in COVID-19. Dr. Madeline Schauberg says the most common allergy symptoms are itchy eyes, runny nose, and nasal congestion. And there are four differentiating factors between these symptoms and the coronavirus. If you're worried or unsure of your symptoms, we would recommend contacting your doctor. Um, but the main differentiating factors, again, are going to be fever. We never see fever with allergies. If you have any shortness of breath, uh, difficulty speaking, walking up and down stairs, you should prompt a call to your doctor. Dr. Schauberg says you should also look out for body aches and excessive fatigue. You can think of seasonal allergies as mild and prolonged. Those symptoms tend to be mild and they're going to last for a while. COVID-19 is a very acute illness. Patients will start presenting with symptoms uh, between 2 and 14 days of exposure. And then those symptoms last between 10 and 14 days. As for that loss of smell that so many coronavirus patients are reporting, it may be a warning sign, but this can also happen with severe allergies. Deborah Roberts, ABC News, New York.